Distinguished guests, I would like to thank the Agency for Peacebuilding for inviting me to participate in this event. Increasing knowledge on how to improve our contribution to peacebuilding is more important than ever as conflict is threatening Europe and the global order. Preventing conflicts is one of the priorities of our time. Preventive diplomacy should take a more prominent place in the UN system. To this end, Italy supports the UN Secretary General's commitment to changing the paradigm from crisis management to conflict prevention and sustaining peace. Peace and security issues must be addressed with a multidimensional and inclusive approach, paying due consideration to the peace humanitarian development nexus. The Peace Building Commission has demonstrated a remarkable convening capacity as an effective tool for ensuring flexibility and inclusivity. Italy is among the top 20 contributors to the Peace Building Fund. In the past two years, we pledged more than $2 million to the fund and we intend to increase our support in the coming years. We endorsed the call from the Secretary General, lastly in his report on our common agenda and in his 2022 interim report on peace building and sustaining peace to ensure adequate, stable and predictable funding for UN peace building. Italy has also presented its candidature to the Organizational Committee on the Peace Building Commission for the term 2023-2024. We intend to strengthen this body to reinforce our action to forge peaceful societies, eradicating the root causes of conflicts and inequalities. Italy supports conflict prevention and peace building also by promoting gender equality and women empowerment and devoting significant efforts and resources to promote women's participation in peace and mediation processes. Since its adoption, our country has firmly supported the Resolution 1325 on Women, Peace and Security. The implementation of the WPS agenda is one of Italy's main priorities. In December 2020, we approved our fourth national action plan on WPS for the 2020-2024 term. In line with the previous public funding, 3 million euros have been allocated in support of the implementation of the current plan. Thanks to the resources, the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has been able to fund several inspiring projects to promote women mediators' role at the international and local level, such as the Mediterranean Women Mediators Network. The Bologna Peace Building Forum contributes to raising awareness about the relevance of peace building. As you recalled, in 2020, we played a leadership role in multilateral fora addressing global issues such as public health, food security and climate change, turning our G20 presidency and COP26 co-chairmanship into a successful model for a new engagement in peace-building activities. There are still margins for further expanding the proactive role of our country, especially in areas strategic for our national interests. Your research offers interesting inputs and recommendations on how we could improve our peace-building activities. I want to be a proactive and propose something for your next research endeavor or, why not, forum. It is essential to work hand-in-hand hand with all forces that we have on the ground to address critical challenges such as peace building. Therefore, it is increasingly important that we understand the role of the private sector and that we identify ways to strengthen an already solid cooperation among institutions, civil society and the private sector. Indeed, all relevant partners must work together in order to find innovative ways to mobilize investments and enhance efficiency, effectiveness and sustainable impact on the ground. This approach is necessary also at national level. Finally, I really appreciate the emphasis put in your work on cooperation and especially on the humanitarian development and peace nexus as a domain to expand peace building activities and to create synergies among stakeholders. We are finalizing the guidelines on the triple nexus and we are committed to ensuring their implementation according to our current legislation. I cannot but fully agree with your conclusion on the importance of an active involvement of civil society organizations in our peace building efforts. Italian civil society organizations have developed 
a valuable experience in proactive the conflicts and fragile contexts and do provide an important contribution to our peace building efforts. Thank you for your attention.